the boos were raining down on Kyrie in the garden last night. And Kyrie is talking about just focusing on getting back to the game plan. First, before we get to that. Keep it in perspective. He, he claims it was kind of quiet there. He didn't think the Celtics fans brought it enough last night for him. A Can't quieter help himself. than he expected. Can't help himself. And he also took a shot at his former team. He said, I'm back with a veteran group. Like, he likes the veteran group, to lead the veteran group. He didn't like playing with the kids. Not enough experience. Well, that's wonderful. But his game plan didn't work, and the veteran group didn't work, because as we stated off the top today, and we'll continue to talk about in this series, the Celtics really didn't have to do much to defend the Mavericks in this game. They never had to commit a second defender on Kyrie, or more importantly, on Luka Doncic. Luka had the entire Celtics roster at different points in this game covering him. They're picking him up midcourt. Sometimes they, he gets the midcourt line. Like, he's right there defensively. This is going to wear him down. Keep doing it. Do it again on Sunday night. Gets back to down to Dallas. Do it again there. It took minimal effort to defend yep. for the Celtics. And because of that, because they didn't commit a second guy on Luka all night or Kyrie when he had the ball, nothing else was open, especially the corner threes that the Mavs have killed everybody with when they win basketball games. They've used that to their advantage all throughout the playoffs, and last night they couldn't do it, and those shots weren't there for them. Like you said earlier, it's amazing they just took one one shot from the corner. No, in the first 40 minutes. Yeah. I mean, they've had others, but like in the first 40 minutes of the game, you did not see them. Kyrie had the one, yep. and he was being guarded by Sam Hauser of all guys. <laughs> Lockdown defender and, now, yeah. And he clanged it off the side of the backboard. That's what happened against lockdown defender Sam Hauser. So if that's the way this series is going to continue, and it's just going to be the Celtics one-on-one -on -one with Luka or Kyrie, and it takes Luka 26 shots to get to 30 points, well, then this thing's over. Yeah. So they've the Mavs have to figure out a way to open things up for themselves offensively. But they were bad defensively, too. Mm -hmm. They have no answer for you right now. Luka and Kyrie, bad defensively in this game. You know, that's a big thing for the Celtics, too. Like, the mindset, defense is a mindset. And you could just see it here on the simulcast. We rewinded some of these plays here. There were doubles. Like, you know, Brown was falling off. Uh, poor Zingas picked him up at midcourt. Holiday was was falling back in the lane when he, when he drove it. Um, this will wear him down. And it, there was a couple times he fell out on the court, too. Took a while to get up. You could tell, like, he's still with something. I think his knee, he's got a little bit of a knee, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the fact that now all of a sudden you don't have to double either of those guys and you can take away the lobs and the corner threes and those secondary players for Dallas is a killer. And then on top of it, too, like Kyrie talked about taking good shots. He did Great take shot. some good shots. He took some good threes. He had some wide open looks during that run that Dallas had in the third quarter. Didn't hit those, and that was a backbreaker for Dallas too, because that's a completely different game. If a couple of those wind up going down as well, and it didn't, and and I, I'm sorry, he can say that it wasn't loud in there. I find it hard to believe that that didn't impact his performance last night. The fact that he was back at TD Garden and getting into it with fans yet again. Of course he did. It, it, it definitely bugged him because he keeps talking about it. He keeps addressing it. Yes, and making like, passive aggressive comments yeah. about it. Yes. Yeah. You can tell it's in his head. He's still talking about it. He's still engaging. We heard Mike Gorman this morning on uh, Toucher and Hardy saying there was a point in the game when Kyrie was engaging with a fan and it prevented him from getting back and playing defense. Because he was talking to a fan and dealing with whatever was being said, courtside, all of it. He's distracted by it. And then he's talking about it post game. Of all the things he could have been talking about post game, he still had to go there and mention the crowd. It's a huge tell. Yeah. And it's a problem for the Mavs. Because, he's to, yeah, he's trying to downplay it. Because he could have changed the course of that game last night. He had enough shots and enough opportunities. And if he had hit some more of those threes, he was 0 for 5 from 3. If he had hit a few more, that game looks different. Yep. Maybe that third quarter is a little different than the way that it was. And Luka, man, he was trying. He was trying to get his team back into that yep, game yep. in that third quarter. And I mentioned that the Celtics' entire roster was on Luka throughout the course of that game. The only guy they really didn't want to have on him was Porzingis. That was the one guy that they sort of were trying to make it a point to get him off. Yep. And Luka tried to put his team on his back and make it a game. And there was part of me that thought he might pull it off. How nervous were you? <laughs> 
When they cut it to eight, yeah, I, I was nervous. Absolutely. Because you just said Boston came out. It was isolation heavy in that third quarter. It didn't look the same on offense. But again, credit to Joe Missoula calling that timeout, uh-huh. resetting everything. And then Boston was off and running again, and that game was a blowout. So credit to Missoula. I thought he was great in this game, too. I also wonder, like, we talk about championship experience. Kyrie Irving being that guy that they kind of lean on and having that championship experience versus Boston, who's been there before. And if you have Kyrie getting into it with fans, I don't know all these Mavericks, younger Mavericks players talking about, hey, Kyrie's kind of our leader, and he's been here before, and we're going to follow his lead. And he's getting into it with fans. While Boston's been here before and knows what it takes, I think that's, that's a difference in this series as well. P.J. Washington had 14 points in the game, and he was the one role player for Dallas who did anything for his team. That was it. Yep. Yeah, and the rookie was in over his head, too. You know, you pick up five. What, what, they, 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 they had foul trouble, too, at the end of this game. Yeah, lively. Yeah. Yeah, just, just take it to him, too. Like, that's a guy you're going to pick up some quick ones on. Jason Kidd, with about five minutes to go, put up the white flag in this game. Like or dislike? Given the big break that exists between game one and right. game three, uh, game two. That's a good point. I, I wondered about that. Yeah. Is it really a need to to save your guys at this point? Probably not. Probably not. But again, like look look at the road traveled for them. You know, Boston's twelve and two, more rested team. So maybe he's trying to play it that way. I don't know. Trying to help Luke out. Yeah, I mean that's I mean, one that's one thing. Keep the miles off him. I don't I don't know. I wonder if it's more emotional than anything. Do you know what I mean? Just kind of resetting with those guys versus like the rest part of it. Yeah, tonight's not your night. Yeah. Yeah. Reset, go go on to Sunday. Right, try and yeah. d- delete it from your memory and move on. That this game one was bad on both ends for us. Bury yeah. the ball. Yeah. Yeah, bury the ball game. And when they cut it to eight, the Celtics responded. As Jalen Brown said after the game, in his mind, that's when the game began. In game number one. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Zolak and Bertrand here. For more Celtics analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.